you can't speak to them. And I, so I, I don't want to speak too much because I'd rather take time um, taking questions from all of you. But I just have some few slides that I wanted to get in touch. Um, just wanted to share with you. President Obama, he inspires me because I, I look at him. His name is Barack Obama. Imagine as a kid how much, how many times he was made fun of because he had this funny name. And lastly, I wanted to end with the goal setting um, because. If you don't set goals, then you'll never know where you're going, and you'll never have a direction in life. But before I go to goal setting, I just want to really say that human being is born into this world capable of not only taking care of ourselves, but we have this extra ability to take care of other people, to contribute to the well-being of the world as a whole. And you have to think not just about yourself, but you have to think about your people, your country, but you have to think about the world as a whole because only human beings have this potential to contribute to the world. Tibetan you'll meet. Like I, you saw what I do. I play, I don't even play like pop music or Tibetan. I play heavy metal. You know, but still I'm a very proud Tibetan and I always talk about Tibet. Not a day goes by when I don't talk about Tibet. Not because I have problems. I have a great life. You have a great life. But the people in Tibet, they are our brothers and sisters, our people. They are suffering. So we have moral responsibilities and duties towards them. So just never forget that. And very, very important to all my young friends here. Education is very important, kids. Yeah? I know it is boring to be in school and to go to school. Most of you guys probably like recess more than your classes, right? I used to love recess. <laughs> but it is important to be educated because education will give you the wings to fly and live a life of your choice. Do what you want.
ที่ชื่อเลยอ่าพี่เบชโตนะแต่เพนทวยนี่ก็คือโพลิติคัลไซส์ตัวนี้มูจินิตโลเดอร์จังวินะที่เพนทวยกว่าที่มาจะมองว
three, uh, I think the youngest one probably is the dad. As children, as students, your first responsibility is to your studies. Okay? And with studies, there are certain things which are very basic. You know, language skills, math skills. These two you really have to work on and if possible, you know, those who can afford should also take musical instrument. Because these math and music are two things that takes a lot of time on that. So if you don't do it from a young age, it's very difficult to master. And of course, taking up a musical instrument is a lot more work for the parents because they have to drive you around. But in some schools, they have after school music lessons. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is that music opens your brain in a different way. There's now increasing research that comes out, and music really taps into a particular part of your brain which has to do with creativity and artistic and you know, uh, appreciation of art and, and beauty and aesthetics. And math, of course, everybody knows. So the math and music are two things that you have to start quite early, and they have required thousands and thousands of hours of practice. Okay, so you really have to, when you are young, you really have to pay attention. And particularly with respect to math, if you don't keep your math up, after a certain point, the whole science field and the you know, economics field will be close to you. So you have much less choice when to go when you go into higher education, like a university or college level education. Because if you don't have the basic math to go with it, then you can't go to any of the science you know, disciplines. You can't go into you know, many of the business schools or the you know, economics field and commerce. So that whole area of professional life will be completely close to you. So whether you go into that field or not is completely up to you. But you should not ignore certain basic skills like that. So that when you get to that age, you have no choice. You know, in, in, with respect to this, what I wanted to say to children is that as the parents, you know, even from a very early age, you would have to have an emotional connection with important spiritual figures like the Buddha, his holiness. And this is why the parents, you know, in your home, I'm sure your parents have photographs of his holiness displayed on the altar, there are images of the Buddha. So I think you have to grow up you know, in that kind of environment where you know, the, the story of the Buddha and the personality of his holiness is a very important part of your psychological and emotional makeup. So that you know, you feel emotionally connected you know, to these kind of figures of the Dharma and the Buddha. And ideally, you know, the Tibetans should also know a little bit about the history. You know, the Sonze Dabo and the uh, coming of Buddhism to Tibet. There are basic elements of the Tibetan story, uh, which every Tibetan child needs to know.